Okay, thank you so much for joining this class. Thank you so much for being with me here. And uh, this is going to be an incredible possibility to join together in union, in Christ mind, in and all of that. And it is, it is not really that we have to establish that uh, communication. No, we, we're going to recognize that it's always there. So, and that means there's a lot to relax and there's a lot not to do in order to become, yeah, consciously part of this. And um, so this time, um, and one of the practitioners um, that that did the practitioner training with me uh, invited me to to teach without using any books and just to come and speak for myself, like I always do anyway. And I, the books are just um, like my love for what's being shared, so that's why I use them, and they are of course totally a part of me. So in that sense, it will not be that different like the knowledge that that comes through me by opening my mouth is um is the same say the same voice that is speaking in the books of Joel or the way of mastery of a course in miracles it really does not matter so the most important matter is that we join in oneness here we have some time set apart to, to really dive deep in a conscious experience of oneness in this present moment. Like the infinite way, or however you want to call it, this path that we're on is, is an infinite path. It is not that it started yesterday and or in 1960 when Joel said, or in 1950 when Joel said for the first time, okay, this is the infinite way. No, an infinite way is a way that is, has always been there even before creation started. And it's, it is, has nothing to do with time. So infinity is not really a, a characterization of time, but more like, yes, it is beyond your um, imagination. It's even beyond your understanding. And um, so that's one thing that you can take with you in this class is understanding is not necessary. So that's not where we are um, training ourselves in, in this class. So the whole intellectual part of what is going on and the figuring out of it is not part of this class. We're not discussing this. It's more now we open up to become consciously aware of uh, the communication that is present with us in this moment and is in communication with every aspect of our being. And in other words, you will find it everywhere, no matter where you go, no matter what you're doing, if you allow that to occur. It's like you can step back out of the perception that you have. You can step back out of your ideas. You can step back in any situation where you think your input is so important. You step out of it and things go really quick and change just in front of your eyes. And you discover that love is all around, that this communication literally is unbroken and always present in this, in this present moment. Ah, so that, that being said, we're going to stand still in this present moment to deepen our experience of love, of love. Uh, of this infinite moment, of a moment that is complete in itself. So it literally will give something to us. It will confirm our perfection. It will confirm that all is one. So I would say just relax and breathe. don't forget to breathe. And yeah, you wanna inhale that. You want to literally breathe that in. So. It, if we can set aside all of our concerns for just a moment and breathe in the light and the love that's been given in this moment, if we could just do that for now as an exercise, like, oh, okay, I don't need to do anything. Okay, I'm good enough to be here. Um, everyone was welcome anyway. So there's not so much of asked of me. Accept that I let go, let go, let go, and and um, take time to let myself be completely affected by what is presented in this moment. 
So when where two or more are gathered in my name is what Jesus says, I'll be there. So we got a lot of presence in this moment. It is, so you can feel that if I talk about it, it's like, ah, oh, okay, that's so great. So Joel is here, Jesus is here. In this one mind, everyone is literally um, re, uh, present. You know, that that's the great thing about this. So you're not doing this really by yourself. It is not by your doing. So your whole, this is another one, your whole concern of, um, am I doing the right thing in my spiritual path? Am I doing this and that? That whole concern can just be put on the shelf and you don't have to pick it up ever again. So this is done to you. This is happening in this moment. And there's not so much you have to do with that. And you only have to be willing and be open to receive what is actually being given and come in touch with your true innocence, with that what is real about you. And that what is real about you is just what you are. So you don't have to do anything for it. You don't have to prove anything for it. So that falls another one off your shoulder. Oh, I don't need to do anything for it. I don't need to pretend I'm a good student or I don't need to do this or that. I don't have to listen to 400, 400 audios or I don't have to read a lot of books. No, no, this is about your experience of the present moment of you having an experience, you feeling literally what is going on in this present moment here that we share together in this amazing time. Look at what we're doing. Like, look at where we find ourselves. This is a brand new continuum that that is so open and so speeded up that, you know, you, you can recognize the present moment. You, you are far along in your journey to recognize that this is the only moment there is. There is no relationship with this moment and with the past. So we put the past on the shelf too. Like, no, there's no link whatsoever between what happened two minutes ago and this present moment or two years ago, what happened two years ago has no relationship with this present moment. Because this present moment is not um, ruled by time. This present moment has literally nothing to do with time. So with with your ideas about yourself, where where you appear to be a human being with a frame of reference of a human being, like this moment has nothing to do with that. And I'm maybe coming back to that a, a little bit later because it is nice to elaborate on that, to discover how much you are, say, uh, rooted into the human identity. And um, while you actually know that there is something else, otherwise you would not be in this class. Otherwise you would not be listening to this. You know, you would already have turned it off. It's like, okay, well, I don't know what this guy is talking about. This, this is crazy what he's doing. But he says, there's no time. And I got my whole agenda full of uh, appointments and full of this and that. And there's all kinds of stuff that I have and must do in order to survive as a human being. And I say, no, no. No, you don't. Like this moment that we come together has nothing to do with that whatsoever. And you can still have a calendar full of appointments. That really doesn't matter. But you are not ruled by time. There's literally nothing that you have to, must do, or should do, or could have done. You know, there's nothing of that. There's nothing that you need to do. And... Uh, in order to come in touch with who you really are, you don't need to do anything. So it is already established that it's presenting itself in this moment that we shared right now. You know, it's, it's happening right now. So just, just go a little inside and feel that. It's like, oh, okay, this is, this is my present moment. Okay, this is what I feel. 
Hmm. Okay. So I'm in communication with every aspect of creation. Hmm. That is happening right now. And it looks like this. Oh my God. I really didn't know that. Hmm. That feels so good. Hmm. I can already feel my mind expand a little bit. Ah, oh, I feel the strain in my neck is gone now. Ah, okay. So, you know, you can sink deeper and deeper into that. And it's really, really real because it is very easy then to enter into silence. And it's very easy then to, uh, to come in touch with your pure innocence, you know, your pure innocence. Like there is nothing that that you can be guilty about there is no such thing as guilt because like i said this moment has nothing to do with two minutes ago or two days ago that you were maybe angry at someone or whatever that is it's really like there's nothing there's no such thing as guilt in this present moment there's only fulfillment there's only completion and synchronicity like we're all one in this moment. So this is the healing class that I wanted to bring to you, to come with you into this present moment where we're not ruled by time, but actually enter into the fourth dimension if you want. It's like it's literally not ruled by time. So what can happen in a, in a moment that is not ruled by time is that you that you come, like you develop, you you in your undoing in your spiritual awakening process you make a quantum leap because what is occurring right now has nothing to do with time so things that appear to have uh, taken 20 years before you learn something or 20 years for it to occur finally to you or two years it can now be done in an instant because this moment is not ruled by time whatsoever and you can return to it in every moment basically it is the only real moment that you have and you take it with me with you wherever you go i literally take it with me wherever i go so wherever i go i can come in touch with this that i'm looking around and realize myself oh my god i remember myself like, oh my God, yeah, wait a minute. Um, so this moment should be complete too in itself. I'm so happy that I take that with me. So I just was a little bit caught up in my um, senses. Like I saw some real intense things happening in front of me. But now I remember, oh, wait a minute. Oh, in this present moment I take with me. So wherever I am, I appear to be in this world in the world that I'm meeting in my, on my daily, day by day uh, experience of myself, actually it is not ruling me. I can still take a look at it and be in complete communication with every aspect of creation. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't take it away. So it, you can literally invite it in every moment, no matter where you find yourself. You just allow that to occur to you and you realize it, you remember it, you train yourself to remember it. Oh God, yeah, this is a perfect moment too. Wait a minute, that doesn't look like it at all. It looks like this and this and this, yes. But if I keep looking and keep making connection with myself, I, I actually feel already gratitude coming up in me and come in touch with my innocence. like. Oh, well, I realize that this, what I'm seeing with my five senses is actually a dream. It ha has no reality whatsoever. And I can be caught up in it and I can respond to it. I can make it real as much as I like, but I will have to make it real in order for it to be real in my experience of myself. It has no reality uh, of itself. You know, and that's the amazing thing. Like you literally realize you're in the middle of this, whatever is occurring around you, but you're not, um, like you're not touched by it. You're not um, ruled by it. And you can still realize it has no reality. I'm in the middle of a dream. I can wake up out of this dream by realizing who I really am. 
I would love to remember that in this moment. So maybe I can even ask it in a prayer. It's like, okay, Spirit, I need help here. I, I'm really perceiving something that I think is real, but I know there's something in there for me. Like there's something behind my the appearances that will tell me about who I really am. Ah, so you take that with you wherever you go, whoever you meet, whoever you're in contact with. And then when you start to realize that, you also see that there's no coincidence in who you meet, where you find yourself, and what you appear to be doing. Like there's a perfect plan behind all these appearances. And it helps me to see that there is no separation. So every uh, moment that I think like, oh my God, what am I doing? Or what's happening now? I don't feel really good. And like I, I feel a bit fearful. I feel tired or I feel this and that. Then you, you stop right there because you actually got like a little red flag telling you like, oh my God, I'm trusting my own powers. I don't have to do that because I don't have any power. And I really thought I could do this by myself. I really thought that I was, that this situation was like uh, this look, yeah, this large, this lodged from reality. It was not part of reality. That I for a moment thought I was separate from God. So all the intense situations that you're completely taken away with during the day and or that are repeating themselves over and over for you to see like, oh, there's something there for me. I can now stop right here and um, this will tell me that there is separation, but I know better. So I'm going to let this be revealed to me in this moment. I'm going to let this idea of separation be um, dissolved just by realizing who I really am and by asking for that. Like, oh, dear, dear God, I want an experience of the love that I am instead of this. Or I want to um, see this. I want to see the reality in everything around me. I want to see what is real about me. You know, so you come into a true um, reflection, in fact. And you know what, if you, if you, um, um, how can I say, if you follow that guidance, you, every time you do that consciously, you get literally a confirmation, a confirmation that, that there is a connection. Like you see somebody smile, but that affects you in a way that you suddenly realize, oh my God, it is, it is literally um, confirming my true identity. So then, you know, that is, that's really totally miraculous. You cannot really figure it out how it works, but it works. You know, you just got to apply it. So this class is then for that, to remember together in this moment with each other, you know, that you can ask for uh, a different experience of yourself, no matter where you are, no matter what you are doing, and trust what has been given to you in that moment. So there can be like a spontaneous expression of yourself. Suddenly, suddenly you look really at someone and start to smile and, and you feel that there's a connection that you, you need it for your own confirmation that there is such thing as uh, oneness and that you take that with you because you carry with you in that sense, your whole mind. And uh, your whole mind is your Christ mind because Basically, there is only one mind, and that is the one we share with God. There's only one mind, and it's yours. You're totally a part of it. So that, that makes ideas as loneliness and solitude really interesting, because if your mind is whole, everything is included. And there's nothing outside your consciousness at the same time. Like there is nothing. There's only one consciousness. And it's you. That is your consciousness. You're complete and a whole part of it. Just like the waves in the ocean. The waves all belong to the ocean. And that is you in your, uh, in your 
new identity. So many words, I actually express those words just because they run through me and not to teach you anything, not to do anything like that. No, this is just to help us to remember the oneness that is where we are made of, the oneness that is the only reality about you. And um, it is universal, it's literally everywhere. And it's infinite, it is not ruled by time. It was there, it will always be there. You can always come back to it. You can breathe it in, you can laugh it, you can cry it, you can, you know, that's, so it is always with you. Mm, that's great. Yes, thank you. So if you feel that something comes up in this present moment that we share together, you feel up emotions coming up, or you feel tension going to your neck or whatever, wherever you feel it, it really does not matter. So try to relax as much as you can into it. Ah, breathing can help, laughing can help, crying can help. However you can release the tension that you carry with you. Like, yeah, oh, you don't need to do that. You don't need to bring anything with you. You can release it right here and let it be healed. So here we go. So yeah, this present moment is, is giving us exactly what we need. And in that sense, it is so beautiful to share that with each other uh, because we have the possibility to do so. You know, that, that is just an amazing thing too. Look at what we're doing here. So there are minds coming together to, to, to literally experience one mind, that there's no exception to it, that there's nobody outside of it. Like literally, yes, you're doing it right. No, you don't have to worry about if you're doing it right. No, it's taken care of. It's taken care of. You know, the, the, um, the communication is literally unbroken. It never got broken. It is always there. And it's working perfectly. You know, it's working perfectly. <sighs> the only thing then is that you can ask for the remembrance of it. You know, that's the great thing about forgetting it. If you are tensed up and you're like, oh my God, where did I get myself into this time? You stop. You don't try to solve it, but you stop and say, like, oh, wait a minute. I can, I can let this go. Um, what is real about me is that this moment is complete of itself. It doesn't need anything. I was just mistaken about who I was. But now I remember, like, that's a great thing about forgetting. It's the remembrance is great. You know, so, so you don't have to be hard on yourself if you forget. Like, if you, if you forget this to do this or to remember this uh, for a couple of hours in the day, well, there is a moment then that you will remember it because you feel pain or you feel loneliness or you feel fear or you feel something that is actually a red flag for you like a little sign okay wait a minute i'm trusting my own powers i think it can be a separate separate being from the whole universe see the universe doesn't change by that so that's why the return to the universal remembrance so to speak your universal mind is so easy because it is literally always available you can exclude yourself for a moment into a little bubble that you can call a dream, but it will not change reality. So what is, is, and that is too simple, isn't it? That's too simple. So that's why I try to make it a little bit more complicated by using a lot of words or by coming into this flow where I'm literally uh, flooding you with, I with ideas that are connected to it. And that you can't grasp, like you can't grasp in eternity or infinity. You, you can, as a human being, you cannot understand why you are not guilty because your whole identity was based on guilt and fear. You know, so this is, yeah, this is 180 degrees upside down. But um, it, is, it is really great that you now, in this brand new moment that we meet, 
can make another decision to not listen to that anymore, but to go right deep inside yourself. And also like accept the moment as it is. You don't have to, to come into a spiritual experience of yourself. No, you can relax and, and be just be in this present moment and however that is looking for you however you your experience is of yourself in this moment that is the perfect expression of that moment you know so if you can accept that then then you sink even deeper into it because you didn't do anything wrong nothing went wrong it all worked out perfectly because you no matter what happened, you enter into this present moment with me. And um, that makes it very easy and it makes it everywhere available. Here's you in your true innocence. You know, it is your innocence. It doesn't need defense. It doesn't need anything. It is only very nice if you are consciously aware of it and come into the experience of it by overcoming some obstacles to it like your ideas about yourself your guilt ideas about yourself your whole definition of yourself your false identifications of yourself i'm this and this in this world i'm this and this i'm this whatever in this world like i'm this parent with these and these children in this world no 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 wait a minute this is this is a bit different this is you in your present moment realizing the communication is unbroken it is always there ah it does not change by my little identifications or by my little mistakes in these like i just made a mistake i misidentified so here we are remembering. Hmm. So Joel is with us here. Jesus is with us here. And you are with us here. And like I said, there are so many helpers that help us to remember that they will knock on our shoulder or smile at us in a way that you think like, oh my God, where did that come from? That is so great to feel that there's no stranger, that there's nobody in the way. Nobody is like trying to take something away from me. It's impossible. What is true about me is always true about me. It will always be there. So here we come into our healing moment, you know. This is a healing moment because literally the realization or the remembrance of who we are is what all healing is. Ah, you can deeply relax into it. You can, you know, let yourself be rejuvenated. Whatever it is that you need in this present moment, it will be given to you. Hmm. And no, your innocence will tell you that there literally is nothing to feel guilty about. That there literally is no such thing as guilt. Whatever happened in the past is over and gone. It will never return. It has no effect on this moment. Yes, the hand that you feel on your shoulder is the hand of Jesus helping you to remember. It's like... Oh, you, my friend, I'm next to you. I'm right here with you. No matter where you go, you know. So when you ask for help in a very simple way, like you say help or whatever, it is going to be answered, you know, because this is what the universe wants you to do, is waking up out of this dream. Hmm. Yeah, it's very quiet, it's very still. It doesn't need anything. It's just breathing, literally, the love of God. 
and you've accepted you accept it as much as you can you open up for it as much as you can uh, you create space literally for a spontaneous experience of it mm. so release that tension release those ideas step back out of what you think you're supposed to do step back out of your ideas about how this should look mm, just give yourself some rest some true rest in this moment some peace an experience of peace in the moment mm. Yeah, you're doing that right. Yes, relax into it. Yeah, trust what's going on. Yeah, this is for you. This is you coming home into yourself. Mm. This is you having this spacious mind. Mm. So thank you so much for joining with me in this, that you breathe with me in, into this moment. Thank you for doing that. So I will hope to see you next class too. We do this every week and uh, you are invited. Um, write us an email if you have any questions. You can always do that at IWIHUB at gmail.com or check out the website ewhub iwihub com. thank you so much for your participation in this for your presence in this and i hope to see you soon